Okay, today we're gonna uh, show you guys about lime plaster. We're mixing uh, hydrated lime and sand to create an exterior plaster finish for our building. And also the base coat, we're mixing in a little bit of fiber to give it a little extra strength on the first coat. We're applying it to expanded metal lath that's fastened to the building with roofing nails every six inches in the valleys. There's a little, a little bit of space you can see between the lath and the wall that allows the plaster to get in behind and key in to that lath and hang onto the wall really well. Um, there's also uh, behind me you can see the blue tarp we have keeping the sun from the side around the corner that's finished once once you've applied your lime plaster it's best to let it cure slowly so if you get sun beating down on your wall it's going to dry out too fast potentially crack and cause some difficulty so we went to the trouble of shading the entire side of the house prior to applying our plaster on the east side. Once it gets cured, we can take the tarp down and move it around to the other side. Okay, so this is the hydrated lime. Uh, what we did on this project, we purchased uh, 10 bags of the dry powder hydrated lime. And I used three different 55 gallon barrels. Uh, mix it up into a putty consistency with water with a, with a mixer and I did that at the start of my project which was now two and a half years ago um, they say with hydrated lime it only requires like a few days for the for it to soak mixed with water um, the original product was uh, quick lime which is a lot more chemically reactive and it's not really available to the public but in that case they used to soak it called slaking for years and the longer it soaks in the water the stronger it becomes so that's kind of what we did here for two and a half years inadvertently but this is the the main ingredient in our plaster hydrated lime mixed with water into a consisti consistency of cream cheese okay we're ready to mix our lime plaster we have all our ingredients assembled here this is the base coat we're going to start with, in the bottom of our five gallon bucket, inch of water, not, maybe not quite an inch. Just a little bit of water helps to keep the materials from getting stuck to the bottom of the barrel. And to that we're going to add a half, a half a bucket of the hydrated lime putty. It's important to wear gloves and safety glasses because it's very caustic material. You want to try not to get it on your skin. Oh, this is a three gallon bucket, but it's more about the ratios. We're doing it in this, in this size because we don't want to be able to lifting heavy buckets. So we got a, what, a gallon and a half of the putty and then to, to that we're gonna add a full bucket of sand. This is a mason sand, typically sold for making plaster and stucco. Oh yeah, and some of our fiber this was purchased over the counter at a local building supply. The type of fiber they add to a concrete mix for reinforcing. Just a handful of that in there. And then we start the mixer. about right. Mm -hmm. So the basic recipe, three parts sand, one part lime, add some fiber and then water to taste. We want the consistency to be not too fluid so that it's falling off the wall and not too thick so that it's 
hard to apply to the wall, so it's a, a fine line, but you'll develop a, a feel for it, especially if you're applying it. You'll know how you want it. Not too wet, not too dry. And you just have to add the water by eye, really. Okay, so this is our plaster mixed. We brought the bucket up onto the scaffold, emptied out here on our plaster board, mud board. And try to keep the extraneous materials out. And then we're going to apply it with a hawk and trowel, thusly. So, it's important to apply it, apply it with a fair amount of pressure so it gets ingrained into the lath. And it's actually forced in and behind the lath. So as it dries, it becomes locked in, locked into place that way. We call it keying in. So this is the first coat. The idea is to just get a nice uh, base layer with the fiber mixed in. Later on we'll come by and scratch it so the second coat will have a, a keyway itself. And the good thing about the lime plaster is when you're finished you have a breathable wall. Moisture vapor that may be inside the house is able to pass through the plaster layer and not be trapped inside your wall. And the other good thing about the lime plaster is the fact that it's hydrophobic. When, you, when you're done building your wall, if water gets on the wall, it's naturally going to be repelled by the nature, the chemical nature of the lime. The lime plaster, as it's curing, is absorbing carbon dioxide from the air and basically turning back into limestone. So it's also offsetting some of that carbon footprint during the production. There's a lot of CO2 released because it's heated up in a kiln and it's actually absorbing CO2 during the curing. Contrary to what happens with Portland cement, is actually releasing CO2 during its curing process to the extent that it's releasing more CO2 during the curing than it did during the production with the Portland cement. So that's another benefit to using the lime. They say it's almost carbon neutral. Okay, so after you've applied the base coat, um, in our case, it seems like 24 hours later, just about it's ready to do a scratch surface with a tool like this and this allows the next coat uh, more of a, a grip something to key into just a little bit so put your scratches in it after it's set up enough if I try to do this right away it's gonna be too soft and if I try it if I wait too long it's gonna be too hard so they say if your if your knuckle doesn't make an imprint but your fingernail does then it's ready but I don't know it's just a matter of feel Put a good scratch in the base coat and then you're ready when that cures to put the second layer on it. And around the corner here you can see my second layer already finished. So for me that's potentially a finished product on the wall. Depending on how smooth you want it, you can put more time into it. <laughs>